Welcome back. Welcome back to Volume 3 Answers for Kids Reading Channel. Again, that's Volume 3 Answers for Kids Reading Channel. This is Aika Crusell, and the picture is not me, but I chose this to be to make it appear that he is the one reading to you. And today we're gonna read again from the Answers Book for Kids Volume 3 by Ken Ham with Cindy Mallet. Ken Ham is from Answers in Genesis and it's an organization that teaches um, God and everything in science. Uh, God has uh, created all of the things that we see. It's an organization that also explains that if you're going to study science, it's also studying about God and His wonderful hands over that subject. And you can purchase the Answers Book for Kids volumes at www.answersingenesis.org. Again, this channel, Volume 3, Answer for Kids Reading, is to minister to those who are blind but can hear very well. And for anyone who wants someone to read to them, and get to know the Lord. Today, we're going to read a question, How does God get His power? Where does He get it from? The question is from Miroslava M. Her age is 8 years old and she's from Mexico. And the answer? Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. Jeremiah 32, verse 17. Wait a minute, this is a song. It goes like this. Ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Ah, Lord God. Thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for you. Nothing is too difficult for you. Great and mighty God, great in wonder and mighty indeed. Nothing, 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 nothing is too difficult for you. Well, that's a song. And it was taken from Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. We hear a lot about God's power. Take a look at our verse. God's almighty power made the heavens and the earth, and there is nothing too hard for God. Well, I want you to learn another big word. Omnipotent. Omnipotent. The Bible clearly teaches that God is omnipotent meaning he is all powerful he is almighty god he is lord the creator of all things and he never gets tired there is none like god although we can't completely understand his power we know he is infinite in power meaning there is no way to measure it and all power ultimately comes from him and the source of his power never becomes exhausted. God can do anything he wants whenever he wants, and nothing is impossible for him. I am so glad that I serve a God who is all-powerful. If you have a Bible, open it on Psalms 147 verse 5, Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 6, and Mark chapter 10 verse 27 write that down Psalm 147 verse 5 Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 6 and Mark chapter 10 verse 27 oh by the way the picture 
consider it as Ken Ham, although he doesn't look like that. But the book I'm reading was written by Ken Ham with Cindy Mallet, and it's available at www.answersingenesis.org. Let's end this time with a prayer before we say goodbye. Dear Lord, thank you that you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. And thank you, God, that there is nothing too hard for you to do. And if there is anyone listening who is having a hard time or does not know what to do, Lord, remind them that there is nothing too hard for you to do if they will just ask you in prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen.